In this GeoMap app tutorial, we'll look at some ways to analyze tabular data and spreadsheets. This tutorial explores the functions in GeoMap app that allow us to analyze tabular data. There are two ways to display tabular data, and each of these is described in the tutorials on importing tabular data and on the available datasets. GeoMap app contains a wealth of built-in tabular data, and these datasets are listed in the datasets menu that can be found in the top bar of the GeoMap app window here. Please refer to the tutorial on available data for more information. In order to import tabular datasets, such as spreadsheets or ASCII tabular data, we would go to the File menu and select the Import Table or Spreadsheet option. Please see the tutorial on importing tabular data for more information on this. In this tutorial on analyzing tabular data, we'll start from the point where the tabular data is displayed in GeoMap app. And all of the functions apply to any tabular data, whether built in or imported. In this particular example, We'll analyze some geochemical data for the Izubonin Marianus. The first thing to notice is that the structure of the GeoMap app window has changed. On the right, we see a list of function buttons, and we will explore those in a little bit. And at the bottom, we see the data table that we imported. If we wish, we can detach the table by clicking the Detach Table button on the right. This allows us to move the table to a different part of the screen if necessary, like so. For now though, we'll keep the table attached to the GeoMap app window. So we reattach it by clicking Attach Table. The second thing we notice is that the symbols have been plotted as grey circles on the map, here. And we use the Zoom button to zoom to this location. In the table at the bottom, we can sort any of the columns simply by clicking on the column heading. For example, if we wish to sort on age, we click that column heading, like so. Or we could sort on, say, latitude, or by sample ID, for example. Selecting any of the rows in the table will highlight the symbol in the map. For example, here, this particular sample is highlighted in red. We can highlight more than one record using the Shift or Control keys. For example, to highlight four records, and we see the symbols illuminated in the map. We can also simply click on a symbol on the map to highlight the record in the table, like so, and so on. Also, the table at the bottom shows only those records for which the geographical location falls within the map window on view. First thing to know, we can explore more functionality when we use the functions over on the right. For example, for this geochemistry dataset, we can scale the symbols according to the MGO content. For this, we choose the scale button on the right, click it, and find the parameter we wish to scale on in this case MGO. Select OK. We can change the amount of scaling by moving the vertical lines, like so. Let's now color the symbols according to, say, latitude, for example, to look for a latitude dependence in the geochemistry signals. For this, we use the color button, and when we click it, we choose the parameter we wish to color upon, in this case latitude, and hit OK. And we can change the color scale by sliding the vertical lines to the left or right, like so. GeoMap app also offers the ability to graph any two of the numerical columns. When we click the graph button, we select from the drop down menus the values for the X and Y axis. In this case, let's choose silica on the x-axis and K2O on the y-axis, and we hit OK. In the graph window, 
the symbols are scaled and colored according to the parameters we chose earlier, in this case scaling on MGO and colored on latitude, so the characteristics of the parameters are preserved. We can change the axis scaling in the graph window by clicking on the blue lines around the edge of the graph window, like so. So here we are using four parameters to view the imported data, in this case colouring and scaling and graphing two of the numerical columns. And all of this is done with the symbols georeferenced in the map window. In the graph window we can select particular records simply by clicking on the symbol. For example, clicking this symbol highlights the symbol in the map window and the record in the table below. In GeoMap App we can use a lasso tool to capture more than one record. The lasso tool is activated by clicking the symbol here. And we now use freehand drawing with the mouse to select the records of interest, like so. All of the captured records are now highlighted in the graph window and in the map window, as well as in the table below. We can save the captured records using the save function in the right panel. And the drop down menu provides a number of options. For example, we can save the selection as another Excel spreadsheet or as an ASCII table. We can also save the graph window using the save function in the graph tool. And we can save the map by going up to file save map window. Lastly, all of the windows currently open in this GeoMap app session are listed under the windows menu here. We can bring one of the windows to the front simply by clicking its name from this menu. For example, to bring forward the colouring window we select this item here. More information about GeoMap app can be found at www.geomapapp.org